So, neto. Today, we have another ergonomic chair to review. It's the Sihu M90. It's uh, the one right there. I've been using it for a couple of weeks now. Let's talk about it. Shout out to Things We Use for sending me yet another ergonomic chair to review. Thank you guys, really appreciate it. By the way, I have partnered with them to give you guys a discount in case you decide to get this chair for yourself. All you have to do is use the offer code PAK300 and follow the instructions down in the description. So the Sihu M90 is an entry-level full mesh ergonomic chair with 8 points of adjustment for 10,000 pesos. Is that worth your money? Let's find out. This comes in a smaller box compared to the mid-tier chairs I've reviewed in the past. But that does not mean that the components are not protected well. Similar to the others, this one is well packaged. It doesn't come with a glove, but that's not really an issue for me. This one has a lot of similarities to the Sihu M57. In fact, the seat itself and the armrest are exactly the same as the Sihu M57. It even has the mark of the Sihu M57. And because of that, you can expect the assembly process to be exactly the same as the Sihu M57. It takes a little more time compared to the premium ones because it has a lot more screws and parts. The back was surprisingly light which made it easy for me to install without even using a table. Overall, the assembly process was not too bad and it took me around 30 minutes to complete the chair. If you're not comfortable assembling the chair on your own, you can always ask for help or even ask for the chair to be assembled upon purchase. Since this has a lot of similarities to the M57, you can expect that the build quality is almost the same but let's get into the details. The overall design of this chair looks really nice. I like the sharp corners in the design making it look more aesthetically pleasing. Now onto the materials. All Sihu chairs have a metal base. This one however is a bit thinner than most. That does not mean it's not sturdy, it's just a design feature you might want to consider when purchasing this. Being a budget option, this one has limited metal parts overall. The plastic material on this feels the same as what you will get with all the Sihu models. This really feels sturdy. The mesh material on this chair for the most part is the same as the one in the Sihu M57. The only difference starts from the back going to the headrest. One thing I noticed in this model is that the mesh on the back feels a little bit stretched. I checked the thickness of the back and it looks more shallow compared to the other models I've tested in the past. Now this may just be because this chair is fairly new, I've only been using it for a couple of weeks. If you compare it to my daily driver, the Sihu V1, you'll see that the mesh on the back is a bit more flexible now. The overall chair feels sturdy and sleek looking. There's some minor design issues but that's just my personal preference. This chair has 8 points of adjustment, which is standard for ergonomic chairs at this price range. You can adjust the height of the seat by 5 cm by pushing the lever on the right side of the chair. There are 3 tilt positions for this chair with a maximum tilt of 130 degrees. You can unlock this by pulling the lever on the right. The tension of the tilt can also be adjusted by rotating the knob at the bottom of the chair. Similar to the Sihu M57, the armrest of this chair can be adjusted three ways. You can adjust the height, the depth, and the rotation of the armrest. Technically, you can adjust the distance between the chair and the armrest, but you'll have to loosen the screws at the bottom of the chair for this. The back of the chair can also be adjusted with a range of 6 cm. This comes with an adaptive lumbar support, so there won't be any adjustments there, which to be honest, I actually prefer. This is similar to the M25, which I reviewed in the past. The headrest can also be adjusted up and down with a range of 4 cm. However, this does not have a tilt adjustment like the Sihu M57. Now for those of you wondering, the armrest height from the floor at the lowest with the seat height at the highest is 26 inches. For reference, my desk is 28 inches from the floor, so this one fits perfectly when you're not using it. And now let's talk about the comfort on this chair. 
After using it for a couple of weeks, I would say this is pretty comfortable for an entry level ergonomic chair. Since this has a lower armrest similar to the Sihu M57, I am able to use this chair at an optimal seating position with the armrest at the same height as my desk. Just keep in mind that this chair does not have a seat pan adjustment which makes it feel small if you're a taller person. For reference, I'm 170 centimeters. Being able to use it at an optimal seating position makes it ideal for prolonged use while working or studying. The amount of flexibility also allows for a better fit in the back for my height. The adaptive lumbar support is nice but it's not the same as the M25, although I still prefer this over the conventional support mechanism. Coming from the Sihu V1, I feel that the armrests on this are too small. My arms tend to overhang in the forward position as well as the back position. But this is just because I've experienced the Sihu V1. This may not be an issue for you. The headrest is a bit too far back for me. When I try to lean back and still look at the monitor, it does not feel natural. It feels a bit uncomfortable. I'm used to the V1 where I can lean back and still look at the monitor comfortably. Using this chair for relaxing is okay. I was able to enjoy using this while watching my favorite Netflix shows as well as some couch gaming. May not have all the bells and whistles when it comes to comfort but it's still a good option in this price range in my opinion. If you were having second thoughts on getting the M57 because of the height restriction then this chair is for you. For an additional 1 to 1.5k, you get an adjustable back which can solve that concern. While it may have some shortcomings in the relaxing department, I still feel this is a good choice for an entry to the ergonomic chair space. And that's the end of the video. I made a playlist for all the ergonomic chairs I reviewed in the past, so if you want to know more about that, click right here. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.